I am Top Kissimmee Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. We're at 2724 Merriweather in Kissimmee, 34743. That's M E R R I E W E A T H E R here in Eagles Bay. And the purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see. If you look at the best pictures online, imagine that without my car in the way. If you look on Zillow, Realtor.com, Coolia, people call me and they say, what's it really look like? What's the neighborhood look like? Here about 5 o'clock on a weekday afternoon. These units were built in 2008. A while ago, only a few trees planted. Definitely affordable townhomes for sure. All communities have advantages, disadvantages. This one's nice and homogenous. And when you build this high density housing, it's really easy, almost impossible to not put enough to put enough parking in. That is a good example right there. Look down the street, parking, 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 except where it says no parking. As a matter of fact, I think it says no parking in that sign, and everyone's still parked there. Now I'm taking video into the sun here. Let me give you a feel for what's across the street. What it really looks like. So maybe there's no parking down there, but then people are. You've got two car parking in front of your actual unit, one for the garage, one for the driveway. Got the world's smallest playground right there. We'll do a little pan around. You can see they are okay kept up. I'm going to venture to say that the HOA does not cover the roof nor the exterior. We've got the blue tarp there, which means that homeowner doesn't want to replace their roof. And you've got exterior in varying states of needing to be painted. All right, well now we're on the side here. Must have been expensive to put windows in, so they didn't put any in. And I guess the way it works is you might own a little of this land. If you buy this end unit, which is our subject property. Here's our back, we'll see that. One of the things you won't see, look at the best pictures online, it's like what's behind it. So that's the main road, right up there. It's like a little wet area there. Probably won't be built on anytime soon. Do have some traffic going back here. Uh, many of them have porches. Our particular unit here does not. Let's go around to the front. So we're at the front door. This one at 228000 Price pretty well. Whenever we're talking about real estate, we have to always say, you know, for the money, of course. So we're going to go in. See the main shot here. And look at the details. Got nice crown molding there. 
Be interested to know if that was builder upgrade. That seems to be the only real upgrade that we see in the house. Probably not original carpet, but it's older carpet. Got the original kitchen, small breakfast bar, it's all for mica. Original sink, that's probably a slightly newer faucet. Appliances look good, probably not from 2008. Got the dirty stove. It's hard to tell because the place is in okay condition. Could have been a rental. You've got the famous touch up. You can see right there. You've got flat paint, and then someone bought a can of eggshell, not knowing the difference, and touched it up. Get the Dalmatian spotted effect. It would be funny, it is funny, unless it's your home and you're the one who is living here. And then that, got to look at that or repaint it. Got a one car garage. That does look newer. That's always a little worrisome. Why would they need sandbags? Now the AC was replaced in 2018. When it was 11 years old, it's about the time, time to replace those. Those are the original builder fixtures there. nice closet under the stairs. They also have signs that they either had a pet piranha or a dog. And obviously it wasn't that important to them to fix that. Again, nice condition, white, all the normal builders upgrade like it originally came with. Let's go upstairs. Got some stains on the carpet. A touch up. It's a nice feature, lets a lot of light in. Not big enough to do anything other than a small little chair or something. Upstairs, walls are in need of painting. A nice big Open loft, bedroom, hmm, area. All right, so we got a normal size bedroom. Probably not big enough for a king bed. So that's where the bed was. This pane is the white on white. It's hard to tell, maybe the original paint. It's plastic. So we saw the two bedrooms plus the big loft, which is a nice additional living space, for sure. So now you've got the master bedroom upstairs here. Also, you can tell where the bed was. This room is big enough for a king bed, if you wanted it. Got the vents in the floor. And that's been replaced, everything else 
it's pretty much original.